you know, it's important to take risks. And what taking risks means is you're going to fail a couple of times. First three rockets that Elon Musk shot up when he founded SpaceX 15 years ago, crashed and burned. He ran out of money. He was about to close. He said, no, I'm going to borrow money. I'm going to get money from my brother. I'm going to ask people to work. You know, I'll pay them out of my own checking account and, you know, delay their payments if they, you know, if they would. And he finally gets his fourth rocket up. And he says that if you're not failing 20% of the time, you're not taking enough risk. Now, if you had to ask me what's the difference in innovation between, say, the United States and sometimes Europe, uh, I studied in England. And I knew a guy, Tim Berners-Lee, who in the exact same year that Steve Jobs did Apple and Bill Gates did Microsoft, he was inventing computers at Oxford. But nobody had venture capital there. Nobody was taking risks. And he had failed a couple of times. Nobody's willing to bet on him. I think one of the ingredients of innovation in this country is not only do we have risk takers, but we have people willing to support risk takers and to know perhaps 20% of the time the rocket's going to blow up.